So today's video is about Audis, Golfs, and more Audis, and Volkswagen, and Golfs, and Audis. So this episode we're doing a BWA 2 litre TFSI Audi engine which is used in the Audi A3, Audi TT and the Golf. And we are going to be upgrading this to make this a high pressure fuel pump. We're going to change the internals because I don't want to be spending seven, eight hundred pound on a complete unit. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Part of the Audi build, we've changed everything else but we need to raise the fuel pressure up to 10 bar. What I've got is, I've got a Viz Motorsport high pressure fuel pump internal kit and in there is bolts, a seal, insulation tool and the piston with a centre bit inside. Now what this does is it gives you 75% more surface area and as I said it raises up the fuel pressure. So we are going to dismantle the one that we've got here in the vice and we're going to put this in. These are about £270. It's half the price of buying a complete pump already done. There's actually a stage one kit and a stage two kit. We went for the stage two. Stage one kit is 50% more volume on the piston and the stage two kit is 75% more volume on the piston. So first we're gonna remove this pressure sensor, which was loose anyway. What a lad. So this intake pipe here we need to drill this out to 5 mil so that there's less strain on the in-tank pump. Because we're putting the pressure up in here, we want to make sure that the fuel flows into this faster and less restrictive. We're going to take this out. We're going to pull this out. So now that's that centre shaft, which is the same one as this new centre shaft, but as you can see, the size difference in them is obviously different. Where's the nut gun? So now we're going to remove this bit to get to the sleeve inside there and swap the sleeves over. It comes out like that. So now we've got that out. As you can see, there's a rubber seal on it. They're going to remove the sleeve. So we use a magnet, pull it out like that. As you can see, old and new. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to take this out, pull the old fuel out that's in there because there's a bit of old fuel jingling around. Going to get a clean rag. And we're going to clean it out with some broken clutch cleaner. Make sure it's clean because they're machine surfaces and you want it all to be spotless. Oh, Superman rag, nice. So make sure you get all in there, clean it all up. Preferably use lint free cloth. <laughs> then put that back in. So now we've got all that apart, you want to pull the spring off like that make sure you leave it the same way up it come off and then we've got this section here and what you've got to do is you've got to put it like this you've got to get a socket on the top and you've got to tap it with a hammer and then that pushes the center bit out which allows you to slide that off like that and it all comes apart and then you've got to find it it's right there that's where it is see that come off so easy so what you need to do is you need to get this. Now you've got that, that cap off. You need to slide that through there to its maximum point. This end, you've got the big end and you've got the small end. The small end needs to go downwards, so the big end needs to go up inside. You put that on like that, and that's on. So you use the tool here, this tool. You would slide that over. I usually do it that way around. I then pull it, and then get this bit, which is your like follower end. You put that in, you lift that up, and now you want to get a rubber mallet and you want to tap that down to lock that in place. Once that's locked in place, you can remove this tool. I'm just going to rest that on there, use a rubber mallet, bang that down, 
job's good. And now I should be able to push that down, pull that out, and put that on there, and that is done. It's that simple. We put that back in the vise. We've used the tool. That's not needed anymore. Now what I said about the sleeve, remember, little side in, big side up on this piece. So you slide that into there. Obviously, new seal. We've pre-done the spring. Then you put that in there. And then you would use a socket. But I'm just going to try and see if I can do it by hand for a bit first. Oh yeah, there we go. See, got it to bite. Now it's biting. Get an 18 mil socket. Push down when you do it. Now, there's no torque setting for this that we can find anywhere. So I would say, do it FT without overdoing it. Know your limits. Give it a tap on the, the ratchet with a hammer. It's nice and smooth in there. That's good. Now what you do, you'd get a pick. You change your seal round here, like that. The kit does come with a new seal. Uh, it comes with the seals. But I'd already bought the seals from TPS, like Audi or um, Golf Parts and stuff like that, like a parts supplier. Uh, so I'm going to just use the OEM one, because it's what they use. So that new seal's on. Now we've got to take this piece, as I said before, and drill out the end 5 mil. So as you can see, we've got this in the vise. We've just got to tap it a bit to make it straight to the eye. Five mil drill bit. The drill. And then you want to just send it nice and slow. Bit of fluid. Sort of spray it up a little bit, clean it up. Can you, yeah, I am at the moment, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so once you sprayed it, you take it out and get all the swarf off. Give it a quick blow. There's two types of these. Uh, there's this pipe, which is a push-on pipe, and the other one is a banjo end type. Um, if you've got the banjo type, you need to drill out the pipe that's on the engine because that has the restriction in, not this bit that goes in the bottom of the pump. Now that that's clean and you've drilled it out, you can now screw that in. You only need to nip these up, they don't need to be hella tight. Get your 14mm socket, put that on. Just nip it up. Just nip it up a bit. So we've got a new seal for the sensor. We're now going to put that in there. Give that a little nip. There we go. And now you've got a high pressure fuel pump for half the price. Now you can install it in the engine. What I will suggest is, is that you buy a new one of these. And this cam follower. That goes over there, like that. And then make sure you check your camshaft, because if your camshaft's worn, you'd need to buy a new camshaft. Um, but my camshaft's fine, my follower was fine, but I'm just going to buy a new follower anyway because then I know it's all Gucci. And they give you three high tensile bolts to hold the pump on. And these two, if you want to take this end off, these two are to replace the security bolts that are here. Hope this video has been educational in some way and helpful. Um, enjoy modifying your cars, people. And remember, make sure to get a proper tune on your car, not a generic flash map.